How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well finally OnePlus has released the stable version of Oxygen OS 15 which is currently running on my OnePlus 12 and in this video we'll compare the Oxygen OS 15 with the Pixel UI based on Android 15 that we have on the Pixel 9 Pro XL guys it's gonna be a really interesting comparison between these two popular Android UIs so stay tuned and watch this video until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first things first, let's talk about the always on display and the lock screen. Here the Pixel has this minimal approach where you do not get any customization options related to the always on display and it only shows you the lock screen clock along with the battery percentage at the bottom while the OnePlus has a lot of customizations. Not only do you get this seamless transition from the always on display to your lock screen but if you go into settings and then to always on display here we have different unique clock styles specially designed for the AOD and you can create your own animated avatar, add some custom patterns, you also get the canvas layout and there are some cool looking AOD styles that changes dynamically according to the weather. The best part is you can also see real time updates about your food delivery and other services directly on the always on display by simply enabling the live alerts option. So you actually get some useful features on Oxygen S15. Now coming to the lock screen. Finally OnePlus has added a lot of customizations but the thing is we do not have the shortcut to go directly to the customization screen. On the Pixel UI, if I just press and hold on the lock screen, here I get the customized lock screen option which directly takes me to the customization page where I can choose from a variety of different clock styles, change the color, customize the shortcuts and there is this really cool now playing feature that shows the name of a song playing around you on the lock screen itself. On the Oxygen S15, every time you want to customize the lock screen, you need to go to your settings and then to wallpaper and style. Here you get a bunch of really cool looking themes for your lock screen. You have got pulse, light and shadow, composition, aerial view and many more. You can select whichever you like and then you get the option to change the clock styles, customize the color, adjust the size, you can add blur and some cool effects to the lock screen and the best part is you can enable or disable the depth effect as well. The only drawback is that you do not get the option to add your own font, instead you can choose any of these presets which are already present here. I think they did an excellent job adding these customizations and now OnePlus has one of the best looking lock screen on any smartphone. I also like how you can access multiple shortcuts by long pressing the fingerprint scanner and to activate this useful feature just go into your settings, accessibility and convenience and simply enable this option called quick launch. When it comes to home screens, I am a huge fan of pixel material design and I think it has the best dynamic theme support compared to any other Android UIs. I would say pixel UI has the best implementation of the material design language where everything matches and blends perfectly with the wallpaper you have applied on the home screen. But the problem is, despite having such beautiful design language, pixel UI misses out on some basic customization features where Oxygen S15 has so many options like changing the icon pack, applying different themes, customizing the quick settings layout and there is also this sidebar which not only lets you access your favorite apps and shortcuts but you can also save text and images into the file doc then you can drag that item to share it with your friends in different apps without wasting your time. Now with Oxygen S15, they have also added this live alerts feature which works exactly like the dynamic island that we have on iPhones. Once you activate the live alerts option, let's say you set a timer on your phone, when you minimize the clock application, it goes straight to the punch hole and converts that into the dynamic island. It also works when you are playing music on Spotify or you can track your order from Swiggy or Zomato as well. The best part is unlike the dynamic island, here you can view and control multiple apps in an expanded view and I think this is the best implementation of the dynamic island on any Android smartphone. OnePlus has also improved the multitasking experience and now when you open apps in split screen windows, let's say you are watching a video on YouTube, now you can expand it much further nearly to 85% of the screen and this way you can easily decide which app can occupy the larger area on the screen. It does actually helps you make better use of the split screen feature compared to other Android UIs. When I open the quick settings panel on both phones, you can see it looks quite different on the Oxygen S15. We have got a more rounded design along with these two pills to control the brightness and volume level. Now you also get the option to choose between the classic and split view that separates all your notifications from the quick settings panel. 
So when you swipe from the right side, it opens the quick settings and by swiping from the left, it shows all your notifications, which is again inspired by the iOS control center. On the Pixel UI, things look very similar and we still get the Android 12 quick settings panel, which is one of the cleanest looking designs. It doesn't look like a copy of iOS, which is actually a good thing to me. I know the design is subjective and you can surely have your own opinion, which you can comment down. But if I have to pick one right now, then I would definitely go with the Pixel UI because it looks clean and resembles the Android design language. Apart from this, if you go into the widget section, I think Pixel UI looks less cluttered compared to Oxygen S15 as it doesn't show all the widgets in one place. Instead, you just need to select a specific app and it will show all the widgets related to that app and settings. But one thing that I liked about the OnePlus is the background blur which you get when you access the quick settings panel or even when you open the app drawer. Because of the blur in the background, it just makes the icon pop on your screen and I think it looks much better compared to the plain white background that we have on the Pixel UI. Now if we talk about the AI features, currently we do not get any AI features on the stable version of Oxygen S15, but OnePlus has confirmed that they will be adding a lot of AI features on the OnePlus 12 with the upcoming software updates. Right now, Pixel UI is the better choice if you want to have powerful AI features on your phone. You get many photo editing tools circle to search and the Gemini assistant works really well on the Pixel devices. So if you want a phone with lots of AI features, then Pixel is the perfect smartphone for you. Finally, let's discuss animations. Guys, I've compared these phones side by side and trust me when I say this, Oxygen S15 has the smoothest animations compared to any Android phone right now. I'm not saying that Pixel doesn't feel smooth, but the OnePlus 12 feels much better and has smoother and more fluid animations thanks to the newly released Oxygen S15. You can see the animations side by side and let me know which one you think feels smoother in the comment section. Overall, I think Oxygen S15 is feature packed and it has a lot of customization features and at the same time, you also get these beautiful buttery smooth animations on this phone. While the Pixel UI looks clean, it has many useful AI features with 7 years of software support. So if you want to have more features and customizations, you can definitely go with Oxygen S15. But if you prefer a cleaner and better software experience with regular updates on your phone, then the Pixel UI is perfect for you. So that's pretty much it for this video. This was a quick comparison between the Pixel UI and the Oxygen S15. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.